Right now, I am noticing a pattern in the behavior of the biggest publicly known Bitcoin whale. Guys, he is doing something right now, and every time he has been doing this previously, it has led to something crazy for Bitcoin. So this is a video you will not want to miss out on. We're talking, of course, about Bitcoin on shorter, on longer time frames. everything you need to know about today. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And uh, where should we begin? Let's begin here on the four hourly time frame because yes, Bitcoin did indeed see a breakdown from not only the orange box, but also the triangle here, which we have been talking about. So let's begin right here. And uh, yeah, this is why I've been telling you recently that uh, you should probably be very cautious in entering Bitcoin trades for the uh, upside. I mean, if you're going to short, that makes sense. But if you're entering Bitcoin longs, I'm telling you, the red line up here, and at the very least, the orange box up here, the edge of the orange box, clear this box before you go into a trade. Because if you do not do that, well, there's a high probability that we are going to get rejected right at the entry point of your Bitcoin long here. So, yeah, we have seen a little bit of a pullback here. Again, we've been trying to break through this orange box now on three separate occasions. Massive push right here breakdown, massive push right here, breakdown, massive. And this was the biggest push. Look how many times we tried to break through and clear this orange box, but now breakdown. And in fact, going down, retesting the edge of the orange box here, right at the very dollar, getting that rejection as well. Not only on one candle, two candles, and going down here. So, I mean, right now it's just a waiting game. And of course, it makes more sense to buy the lower Bitcoin goes. Of course, that's a no brainer. But getting into a long here, I would wait for us to clear the $38,000 level and also preferably the $42,000 level if you're going to enter into a Bitcoin long. Guys, patience is key here. So I'm not trusting the rally we've been seeing here recently yet. Um, but yeah, we just have to keep watching this. We have to keep paying attention. Now, if we go to the triangle, I've been talking about this for a couple of days already. Actually, uh, right here one day ago, I said that we were going to see a big move in the uh, probably the next 48 hours. And uh, the move has been happening. So we did see a breakdown here, breakdown from this triangle retesting it and continuing confirming the breakdown here. So yes, this is a clean breakdown from this uh, triangle right here. So that's the situation right now for Bitcoin. Hopping over to the daily time frame, you can see the same thing here. So we are inside of the, uh, uh, well, the falling wedge here. And what you can see is that, yes, indeed, we didn't manage to break through the top here, resistance, rejection, and now we have the support here at about $36,000, and this is going down rather quickly here. So this is also going to see a, a big move here, either to the up or to the downside. And if we see that break to the downside, well, then we have the uh, support level here as well at $33,000 approximately from this um line right here so yeah we do have and of course also we have my support levels right here at $33,000 massive support at $30,000 so very interesting things happening right now for Bitcoin we're seeing a bit of moves traditional markets before we talk about what the whales are doing right now traditional markets we tried the orange box tried to support us here multiple times one two three four five times here on the four hourly candles Right now, we did see a breakdown from this orange line. We're still inside of the orange box, so we can still find support, you know, in this vicinity. But if we do not see that, well, then it's most likely going to lead to more downside for Bitcoin. But I mean, things are not looking too bad right now. I mean, we still are inside of the orange box. We can still find that support in the traditional markets. But now, before we talk about the massive whale, if you are a trader and you want to claim a $4,530 bonus, make sure to use my Bybit link right here. You can deposit, you can claim the bonus. You can trade with the bonus and not use your own money if you don't have to, or I mean, if you don't want to. So this is still running for a couple of more days. So make sure to take advantage of that if you want to claim that bonus. Now, let's talk about a very, very interesting pattern in the behavior of the largest publicly known Bitcoin whale right now holding 126,837 Bitcoin worth almost five 
No, what is that? Yeah, $5 billion. This is completely ridiculous. Now, with this whale, uh, throughout history, we've been tracking this whale for more than a year right now, almost since I started my channel. So that's like one year and a half ago. And what we have seen is that the whale tends to want to make bigger moves. So, you know, selling 1,500 Bitcoin, buying, you know, 1,500, buying 2,200, selling 3,000, selling another 3,000, buying another I don't know what this is, like 5,000 Bitcoin. So you generally see those big moves. And in general, the Bitcoin whale tends to sell as we are approaching my orange boxes. Now, this is not, of course, he's probably not watching my videos, but this has just been the case. Whenever we reach my orange boxes from the downside, he tends to take profit. So meaning, uh, you know, if I go to the weekly time frame just to make this more simple, you know, approaching my, my very important uh, resistance levels here, usually taking profit as we're approaching it to the upside and also buying the support. So right here, he bought a lot of Bitcoin right here at $30,000. He tends to buy Bitcoin as it is going down into the support levels of the orange boxes as well. So that is just the general behavior the Bitcoin well usually does. So he has clearly been identifying the same kind of support and resistance levels as we've been watching here on my channel. But the behavior we are seeing right now is pretty unusual because just like I said, the whale tends to make these bigger moves. But what you're seeing right now is that the whale is actually accumulating, you know, Bitcoin every single day here. You know, buying 500, buying 400, buying 200, 700. So this is just, you know, daily accumulation, mass accumulation of Bitcoin right now. And this is actually something we have been seeing before from this particular whale. And the most prominent or the most obvious uh, occasions when he has been doing that is actually, let's see here, uh, back in September sometime. So yeah, here during September, you can see that throughout the entirety of September almost, he has been buying Bitcoin also uh, every other day, buying loads of Bitcoin here. And then, you know, he took profit as we were approaching uh, massive resistance levels. But nonetheless, bought a lot of Bitcoin right here throughout uh, beginning of September, throughout September. Now, what was the price throughout September? Let's go to the daily time frame here and watch what's been going on here. Let me take away that. Actually, let me show you that on this chart. So in September, the price, you know, had already been dipping. And uh, yeah, it was hovering somewhere around, uh, I would say, forty, forty-two thousand dollars So during basically this period, this whale accumulated loads of Bitcoin, mostly here at the bottom. And then look at what happened with the price. Massive, you know, pump to the upside. Now, there's actually another occasion as well when the Bitcoin whale has been accumulating loads of Bitcoin every single day here. And uh, that is uh, further down. Actually, look, look at this. Massive. I mean, this Bitcoin whale bought 4,000 Bitcoin right at the bottom here at $32,000, completely insane. So this was uh, this was massive amounts of Bitcoin also purchased, but I mean, they were bigger purchases. But the pattern we are seeing right now is just continuous accumulation. And look at this, throughout uh, May, massive amounts of Bitcoin, but also the frequency, buy-in almost every single day here, you know, throughout uh, May and June. And look at this buy, this was crazy. 4,000 Bitcoin here at the beginning of June. So this was the largest, you know, accumulation of Bitcoin from this Bitcoin whale here in, uh, in May, throughout May until mid-June. So where was the Bitcoin price back then? So middle of May, okay, so right here as we were going down until the middle of June. So middle of June is somewhere around here, right? And then the whale actually bought more Bitcoin as well. But nonetheless, buying massive amounts of Bitcoin right here, and then look what happened with the Bitcoin price after that. Boom, $65,000 and $69,000. So the behavior we're seeing right now from the Bitcoin whale, buying massive amounts of Bitcoin, but also buying Bitcoin every other day or every single day in this case, we've seen it before. It has usually led into massive price action for Bitcoin. So what do you think is going on here? Do you think that there is something to it? Let me know down in the comment section. This is just dubious speculation. As you know, I am a huge fan of tracking not only what this whale is doing, but whales in general. This is a good way 
manipulated, it seems, because he's just continuously accumulating Bitcoin. From what I can see, no man manipulation going on right here, but who knows? Manipulation is definitely going on from the other whales as we've been talking about recently. Uh, but this whale, I do like this whale. What do you think? Do you like this whale or not? Let me know down in the comment section. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, yeah, taking part in my dubious speculation. I will see you guys in the next one.